never take a drink before I sound like a horse. <laughs> a horse is a horse, of course, of course. Is there anyone on yet? I said someone's on. Is uh -huh. that you? Is that you? Uh -uh. <gasps> I said someone's on. Probably Chow. She's pretty fast. It could be us. I don't know. Three people, it says. Hi, Diana. Hello. I'm here. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Elda. Um, why don't you grab your color of sponges? Oh, yeah, okay. While everybody comes in. Orange. I'm going to put it on this. Go ahead. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to be. Hi, Gloria. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Crystal. Hi, Gail. Okay, say hi, Leah. Hello. Hi, Jen. Make sure you thumbs up if you like it so far. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Suzanne. Hey, Pam. Yes, we have a Nancy and a Leah live because Leah doesn't want to go to bed yet. <laughs> Bubbles King. Ooh. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Sally. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's still lingering. A lot better today than I have been all weekend. So, yeah. Slow recovery. Oh, hi. Yeah. Hi, Vicky. Okay. So while you guys are jumping on, we're going to explain everything. Hi, Patty. Um, so I got these two stamps at Blue Night Rubber Stamps during the stamp convention this year. And they are out in Indiana, I think, this weekend. Um, so make sure that you stop by their booth. And they normally have some cool um, show specials if you're interested. Oh, here's a mat if you wanted to use a mat. Um, yeah, you could do like a mat over here. That's too big. Anyway, um, I had my pan pastels out because I used them on the gel press video with the ton um, stencils. So I thought, you know what, let me get these stamps out and Leah and I can make... Um, you guys are funny. Um, you, Lee and I can make some fun backgrounds. And my point is, if a nine-year-old can do it, you guys can do it. All right? So, Leah is going to help me today. And Leah is going to tell you, you know, she's been doing pan pastel since four. I think four. Yeah. Because remember, I was using them in one video. Oh, your lips are chapped. Yes. So we're going to we're gonna play with these two stamps. She has the um, Sunrise Sunset Palette, and I have the Day and Night Palette from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. And we have the stamps mounted, and we're going to use VersaFine Claire and Catherine Puller ink. And let's get into it. So we're just going to make a whole bunch of backgrounds, not even caring what the backgrounds look like, and then we're going to stamp. So we're going to show you how easy it is. So when we are stamping, um, that one's hers and the other one's mine. Well, we'll switch. We'll do some of each. Yeah, we could, but first I'm going to... Okay, do you need this for inspiration or anything? Yeah, I'm going to look at your, like... The colors? Your, yeah, the Okay. Color. Okay. I'm just going to put it over here. All right. Do you need a chair or are you good? I'm good. Okay, so make sure you stay in frame, which is right here, right. and I'll slide over. And the dog is right here. He wants to be on the he show, too. He kind of block it off. Oh, and there's a... Uh-oh, uh the light is in the way. Hold on. I don't know. Uh-oh. Bump in the camera. Oops. <laughs> sorry. Not, we got everything else prepared except for the view. Okay, sorry about the glare. That's as good as it's going to get on that. Okay. All right, are you ready? Set, go! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> We should make it a contest. How many can you make? That's Stamp Wars. Oh, yeah, it's Stamp Wars, right. <laughs> well, those are really okay, red on The this. dog has got to go. He's annoying yeah. me now. Out, 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 <laughs> out, out, out with your toys. All right, out. so we have these softy tools. They're S-O-F-F-F-T. They're from Pan Pastel. They come in a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes. Um, these, if you buy a starter set from Blue Night Rubber Stamps, you get six colors, I think you get. Six colors, the storage tin, and you get a little sampling of some of these tools and some of the stick tools. So it is a good value. And they have two palettes available. The warm colors, which is like red, orange, yellow, um, and then the cool tones, which would be like blues and greens. So it, if you're just starting out with pan pastels, 
um, you might want to go check out Blue Night Rubber Stamps because it is a really good value. I went and bought some additional colors this last weekend at Blick, and it was $7 a color. So if you're getting seven colors plus the storage tin, which is normally, I think, $12 with the storage case, it stores 10 and um, the soft tools is a very good value to get pick those up from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. All right, here we go. Ready? Yes. All right, so I'm going to start with gonna some mine. lighter blue here. Okay, blue. Yeah, you might want to do that. And I'm just going to go right up the middle with my lightest color. Oh, that's hard to see. Let me turn this light on. Ta-da! Whoa, super bright. What if it goes on like the... Yeah, that's what I'm trying to move it so it doesn't... Because nobody likes a glare. What if um, the paint pastels like, go on your... Mat? That's okay. It's easy to clean up. Okay. What do you want... Oh, I got fingerprints on mine already. What do you want to tell them that you know about pan pastels? Um, They're easy to blend. Mm -hmm. And... There's a lot of colors, so it's not, like, always plain, and they're really easy to use. There's a lot of colors. How about clean up? That's really easy. Clean up's really easy. Do your fingers get stained? They don't get stained stained. Because it washes off easy. Yeah. But, yeah, they can get stuff on them. Yeah. I'm kind of going for like the red. And, and then this the is Hammer Mill 80 pound that we've cut down to five and a half by four and a quarter. And if we need to cut it down more, we can cut it down more. So I just took three blues and streaked them across my page. You're fast. Yeah. And just add more or less. Like my friend Tracy likes to always oversaturate her colors. I'm usually a little light handed, but you do whatever works for you. I'm trying to go from, like, the darker color, like the red, into, like, the orange and then, like, yellow. And then I'm going to kind of, like, do it again for, like, the water kind of. Girl, quit being so gentle. Slather that color mm -hmm. on there. Hi, T. Oh, T's on? Yep. Slather that color on there. Look at this mess. Come on. <laughs> I need more red. I'm going to move on to my next one. I'm just going to keep making all a bunch of colors on here. I need more red. It looks like fire. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Done. That's two. Come on. Or is this hard? <laughs> yep, got fingerprints all over that one. Look, I did it. Very nice. The water's kind of high on them. I mean, low. Just put the color down. When you stamp, it won't matter. Okay. Okay, I gotta clean up my mess here. Mine kind of looks like the tie dye, like when it's oh my god, when it's kind of straight, straighter. Hi, Simon. <gasps> <laughs> Simon John. Yes. Do you want to say hi to Simon? <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Simon. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Very good. Let me show you how to do an easier one. Just go like boom, boom, boom. Yep. So just, where's your yellow sponge? I don't have a yellow one. This is the yellow side. 
You didn't grab, why didn't you grab all the colors? Because they're magic. Here, for this one. Use that end and go into that yellow there. Okay. Okay. And then streak down the middle, the middle all the way from the top to the bottom. Yep. Now do a couple passes. Go in and get more yellow if you need. No, go straight down. Go all the way down. Yep, from top to bottom. Yep. Good. That's okay. It's a little orange in there. Okay, now flip your sponge over. There, here, this side. Okay, and now go into the orange. Go on and go either on side each of it. side of it. Okay. Same thing. Start from the top and go all the way down. Grab some more color. Simon says hi, Leah. Hi. <laughs> Okay, and you can go a little bit into your yellow and a little bit into your orange. Good. Okay, now grab your other sponge and grab a little bit of that red and go on the edges. If it's easier for you to go sideways, that's fine too. Yep. Darken it up. That's okay. Keep going. That's good. All right. Now grab. Wait, hold on. Let me blend this. It's great. Yeah. Okay, now grab this side of the sponge. Okay. Dip back into the orange and blend some of this orange and red together. This is what I was doing yep. with the other Keep one, going. too. Head more into the yellow a little bit. Perfect. Good. Now do that side. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, that's great. Ready to do some stamping? Yeah, I'm here too. Okay, that's okay. So let's move these behind us to the table. Or the chair tables. And we have our stamps ready. Out. Nope, just leave it there. We'll keep using it. Okay. And I'm going to use this, and Leah's going to use that. Huh? Like this, right? Oh, let me put the stickies. Let me put some sticky in there for you here. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that's in the corner. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Those magnets are strong. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so you got yours ready. Gotta get my ink. Gotta turn this. Got mine ready. I'll have to go out of frame because I have to ink it. Okay. Do I have to test stamp mine? Nope, you're just going to ink it up. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Hopefully this tape isn't in the way. Oh, it's crooked. Hopefully mine's not crooked because I don't check me. And you want to show them what kind of ink you're using versus what I'm using? I'm using Versa Klein Claire. I like these handles because they help hold like them. the handles? Yeah. help hold them. What's the name of that stamp? Um, I think, I don't, I think it's Dad and, Dad and I. That one's called Dad and I. What's that remind you of? Me. What we should have been doing today, huh? You. 
And then mine's called Island Reflection. Can I use the Chucky? You can use the Chucky. Go ahead. Oh, it's barely. <laughs> I was using this when I was making your car for your birthday. And you were surprised making the card. You're going to need your own craft room soon. Oh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to open it, see the results. Okay. Oh, that looks pretty good. I need to read. You have dust there, so you need to clean the stamp. See where the big white spot okay. is? You need to clean the stamp and re-ink it and do it again. Sometimes that happens because they're new stamps or because your mom was eating peeps on the desk. <laughs> yeah, you were eating peeps today. <laughs> or because I was heat embossing. But most likely it was because I was eating peeps. All right, here's my first one. You're so fast. Yep. Can I have your other background? Sure. And then you can have one of mine. Okay, here's... Do I keep this stuff over here? Nope. I'll take it. Get out of your way. Dry. I'm gonna have this background, and then you can have one of my backgrounds. One of your other shoes. Yeah. It's mostly by the bottom. I'll the we'll just ink up the whole thing. And if you guys have never seen these handles before, the handles are from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps as well. Um, they have little magnets built into them. And then you buy these little metal plates and you stick them to the back of your ink pads. And then it holds on to your ink pad. And this is the universal size, which fits in the oval ink pads. And Leah has the regular one, which fits in the square ink pads. The universal, like when you said universal, it reminded me of Disney. Universal and Disney. You'd like to go to Universal this year, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's in the budget. Wow, pretty good. Just one more. Yeah, I think one more. I'm going to draw a hat and a ponytail on there so it looks like me. I'm going to draw two ponytails. Oh, two ponytails? You can play some country music in the background. <laughs> I wish I could do that, like press a button and it just plays music. Look at this one, looking, using your background. It's nice. Yeah, you did a good job. I'm gonna set mine over here to dry. And I'm gonna make a red orange background while you're still stamping that. Okay, looks good. that looks great. magnet. This tape is ripping. What do you want me to give you? Clean. No, you don't have to clean it. Oh, okay. Can you get that off of there? It's stuck. <laughs> I guess that's the whole point of being sticky, huh? I have long nails. Oh my. Okay, here's Leah's first one. That looks awesome, Leah. Yay. You did a great job with that. That does look like when we go to our lake, huh? And the sun's <laughs> yeah. going down, and you're like, can we go now? And I'm like, one more time, Leah, one more time, right? The lake's kind of yellow. Isn't yeah. It? <laughs> Want to try this one? Okay. Put your magnet back on. It there. looks like in the morning. Oh, yeah, sometimes we go in the morning. All right, we're going to set these aside to dry. Take a second to dry. How many did you do? Already two? Yeah, but I'm gonna make one like you made. Like like the one you were using or the one that that um, that I used at first. Yeah. Or... My in frame, no I'm not. Oh, sorry, I'll move over. It's kind of hard because usually it's more over here. 
Also, we have two people. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Maria. Everybody says that looks good, Leah. Hi, Bobby. Thank Simon you. likes it. Thank you to everyone. Thank you for everyone. Our skies turn pink here, don't they? Yeah, they turn like rainbow too. Like red, orange, yellow. Not really green. Blue and pinkish. Oh, are you gonna do both colors? Well, yeah, I think it'll look good with your stamp. Oh, like with the water. That palette reminds me of Frozen. Oh, because it's all blue? Yeah, and some green, like the trolls. <laughs> oh, it turned green because of the yellow. Because it mixed, huh? I didn't know they could. I know they could, like, blend, but that's cool. Okay, just a little bit more at the bottom. And then this will go with that. When, that you're, when yeah. you're ready, okay? I'll make another one. I have to do the people. And I think after that I'll be good. Having one palette is nice, but having both palettes is better. <laughs> <laughs> right? <clears throat> Uh-oh, you better not be catching my cold. Quarantine you. No, I choked on my spit. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> the honesty, man. That looks pretty good. I think you can, there's dust on there. I can see it. See it? See that on the body there? You gotta wash that. You gotta clean your stamp. Washy washy. Yeah. Dust is the enemy in foiling and in dusty, dusty. Solid, solid stamps. Dusty, dusty, dusty. Dusty, dusty, dusty. Dust is everywhere. Now everybody's gonna wanna get their pan pastels out so they can make beautiful stuff like you made. Well, other people make more beautiful stuff. Well, this is how we learn though, right? Yeah. They make birds and humans. Oh, you're gonna do it like this one? Mm hmm. So you have one and I have one. It's not hard. Okay, that looks better. We need more videos with Leah. That looks excellent. Okay. Still reserving judgment on this mat, but right now, I'm not liking it a lot. There's <laughs> Leah's second one. Great job, Leah. Thank you. Okay, you want to clean that? Yeah. I want to um, draw on that one. The pon ponytails. Oh, you want to draw the ponytails? Okay. I'm going to stamp this one, and then I think we're set. 
Oh, did you want me to stamp this one over here? Yeah, I want you to stamp that one. Oops. Don't step on that. You'll get pink toes. <laughs> I have white socks on, so I won't. Can you get it clean or something? I'll simply get it. That's good. Do you want to stamp this one and I'll stamp that one? Or are you good staying where you're at? It's good. Okay. Here's this. You want it like this, right? Cupcake in the pink one. There you go. I think you got the harder one because you have the most solid uh, layers that's, you know, the silhouette. I don't have the hard one. I have the easy one. But you're doing a great job with it. If we mixed them up, nobody would know the difference between mine and yours. Wait, if you close this, will the people be at the blue? I'm going to say Leah made all of these. Will the people be at the blue when you That's okay. <laughs> They're sitting in the grass in their beat up old fishing chairs that mommy needs to buy new ones and keep yelling at me because I haven't bought a new fishing chair in beach 20 chairs. years. They're beach. Yes. And mine got Oh, uh, look at. Beautiful. Ooh, squeaky. <laughs> okay. Pretty. I need to clean, I think. Ink it up again. What if there's dust? Where does the dust come from if it gets on here? Um, dry skin, pets, embossing powder, glitter, peeps, <laughs> chips, gummy bears. All the things that we shouldn't have down here and we have down here anyway. Where did I put no. Like no food by your computer? Yes. That's kind of stuff. Where's, where did I put the mouse pad for this? Oh, here it is. The mouse pad? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely need to clean it. Hey, do you think you have enough time to, uh, you want me to make some card bases and then you can glue it? Well, we have to spray them all, so we can't do that yet. Spray them with what? We spray them with sealant. So that was one of the questions I got in my um, gel press video with using the pan pastels. And no, you do not need to seal these because the gloss, the gel medium, seals the pan pastels in for you. So when you're doing it with the gel medium, you do not need to seal this. You need to ink that one more time. Yeah, I have to uh, get the dust. All telling you good job. I don't see the cat over here. It's right here. Oh. 
I know it's hard to see on there. You can move over if you need a little more space. <gasps> that looks amazing. That's my favorite one so far. I gotta stamp it one more time. You wanna try using this ink? Stamp yeah. that right over it. Do the whole thing with that. Don't get on your fingers. That one will stain your fingers. Oh, on. That's Catherine Pooler. You have to be fast with it. Archival ink. That'll stain you. So what we'll do now then is, once she's done, you have one more there to do. Um, we'll spray all of them with a fixative. I know some people use hairspray. Um, aerosol hairspray. We don't have hairspray. Uh, I use Krylon matte finish. Um, I spray it on the other side of the room. And you just do a really light coating. Done. Um, wow, looks amazing. So the Catherine Pooler ink worked a little better. So then I get this. Do you want to do that one? Do you want to, oh, I already put it away. Do you want to switch stamps? Mm. you want to keep going with that one? Because you kind of you. You have that already. I mean, I don't have to do this one. No, you do it. Okay. Might as well. You made it. This one's my favorite one you did. Oh, I love this one. We can't yeah, give I this like one it's away. It's perfectly in the water, the little um, bobber things. So I'm going to eat this and just do this. Okay. I'm going to move this over here so it dries. Can you this? Okay, go ahead. Voice. All the way in the corner. Yeah, I know it's time for me to take some medicine and go to bed soon. <coughs> Excuse me. I ran out of meds, ran out of tissues, ran out of cough drops. I had to go buy everything. Orange juice, soup. I think I had every soup in the cabinet this week. I had Lemonade. chicken noodle, ramen, tomato. Tomato. Ew, today I had mushroom soup. Cream of mushroom soup. Ew. <laughs> um, what else? Like everything. Like normal. Lemonade has gone. Orange juice is gone. Most, almost the water's almost gone. The water is almost gone. Yeah. Medicine. Hi, cuddly koala. Leah likes cuddly koalas. I like red pandas, but they're like koala kind of too. I wrote a book about red pandas. I had to do it. Yeah, CP Midnight Ink is great on rubber stamps. I don't like to use it on my clear stamps because of the archival property of it. But you guys, it stamps on acetate. It stamps on um, stencil material. It stamps uh, with rubber stamps. Uh, it, it is truly archival. So once it's set, it's not going anywhere. And it really is nice on these silhouette images. Okay, you got one more little spot right here and here. I'm just gonna wipe that. Oh, you can just color it? Yeah, or you could just stamp it and then you're done. Just stamp those two spots. Come on. I know, my mom did make me some kimchi jjigae. Did she make me kimchi jjigae the first day? Well, I forget what, what she made me. Yeah, was... I don't know. But I I mean, I not that I don't ha have a sense of taste, but I don't have my nose is clogged, so I don't really have a sense of smell. So I do I haven't lost my taste or smell like COVID taste or smell, but I, you know, I have a cold, so everything's just kind of bland right now. Hi Carly. <laughs> Are you done? No. Well, what are you doing? <coughs> oh, you need me to take it off? Well, you have to clean your stamp if you're done. You have to deal with it. I have to deal with it? No, no. You're going to clean up your mess here so we can show everybody and put everything away before we go to bed. We don't just leave stuff out. And then we're going to color this. No, we're not going to worry about coloring right now. You can do that another day. Wow. Okay. While you're cleaning up your mess, I'm going to show everybody everything that we made here. And we got enough. We can make a, a whole little set here. <gasps> I know what you can do with these. 
You can send thank you notes to people who order chocolates from you. Where can they order chocolates from you from? I have a link. You have a link? Where should I post the link? Should I post it down below? Okay, so Leah's school is doing a fundraiser for Gertrude Hawk Chocolates for her school. Um, you can order it and do shipping direct to you. There is a shipping cost. Please do not put send to organizer because then it will come to me and I'm not going to ship it to you. <laughs> I'm going to keep it. So <laughs> make sure you put you, you ship can, to you. You can order chocolates for us. <laughs> yes, they can order chocolate. Well, that's what will happen if they don't put ship to them. So um, I will put the link down below. The link is also going to be in Foiling Snobs Club. And I think that's what we'll do is we'll make all of these into thank you cards. So anybody who orders to support your fundraiser for school, you'll send them a thank you card. Does that sound like a fair deal? Yep. Okay, and then what do you win if you sell so much chocolates? What kind of a toy do you get? Mm -hmm. A poppet toy you want? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so help Leah get her poppet toy. Order yourself some chocolates. I think the catalog's right there if you want to open that up and show it to people so they can see what's in there. T, I did get your um, order for that. Thank you so much. Here it is. Well, I mean, they could put ship it here if they want to come drive out here and get it. <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah, this is good. But they, yeah, that's the, show them what you're trying to yes. win. Show them the one you want to win. I don't know if you're going to get that one, but it's good to have goals. There's a lot of them. She wants this, there's, these poppets. There's mystery, poppet keychain, or poppet board game. And then... I'm, I'm cleaning up here. Yeah, yeah. You, you just craft and run. Jeez, girl. So I will put the link for you guys um, in the description. I'll also, it is in the Foiling Snobs Club. You have until March 7th to place your order. And she's going to go through and show you some of the things that are available. Now, we are not in control of the pricing or the shipping. Again, this is a fundraiser for the school. But you have some milk chocolate peanut butter smidgens. You got uh, milk chocolate smidgens, milk chocolate caramel smidgens. Mmm, <laughs> likey. What are these? Dark chocolate raspberry smidgens, dark chocolate peanut butter smidgens. Oh, there's dark chocolate lava. Dark chocolate lava cake smidgens. Milk chocolate peanut butter smidgen family pack. <laughs> I think family pack means all mine. Nobody touch it. <laughs> we got jelly beans and full, oh, big old milk chocolate bunny that. rabbits. I remember getting those when I was a kid. We never finished them. Peanut butter, or sorry, chocolate pretzels. Oh, I love those. There's a little two-pack if you have grandkids to give them to, or one for now, one for later. Bunny pretzel pops. Oh my gosh, a sweet and sassy two-pack milk chocolate unicorn and ballerina duo or rough and tumble train and truck duo. We have a dog and a cat. Goodie bag. Classic rabbit. This is solid milk chocolate. Ooh. Wow. Oh, I love these. Chocolate chewy coconut mini eggs. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Gummy that. dinosaurs. Dinosaur egg with chocolate dinosaurs in it. That's cool. <laughs> we didn't have that when I was growing up. I remember. Peanut butter dinosaur. I had one chocolate rabbit and I never Holy finished it. Holy crap, how big is this? Six ounces. That's what it says. A thick and rich peanut butter center is what you'll find in this oversized milk chocolate egg. It's topped with a candy decoration to make a beautiful presentation in your basket. Dark <laughs> coconut mini eggs. Caramel and pecans. Oh, here's an assortment. Milk chocolate covered pretzels, peanut butter cups, almond butter crunch, and caramel cashew patties. And then you have a fun assortment of little chocolate packs. So you know, there is a website you can go on. You can order on the website. Ooh. 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 Um, is there raisins? Co covered raisins? Oh, yeah. You know what? I just need a sticky note. We got a couple on here. We got <laughs> milk chocolate cherries. Um, you're probably going to need a really good dentist after that. But I did sign it up so you can order it directly online. You pay it online. They ship it directly to you. Makes it so much easier. 
Um, so Leah can try to win a pop socket thing, whatever pop it's socket. called. What is it? Pop it, pop, pop it board, whatever. And then what? Uh, we'll send you. Leah will. We're gonna spray all of these, and then Leah will make them into thank you cards, and send you a personalized thank you card for ordering for her fundraiser. How's that sound? Um, there's also more. I found out more. So if that's a lot of money. You're not getting that. But, uh... Okay, yeah. Keep dreaming. Ooh, this one is my sh by far my favorite, Leah. You did a fabulous job yeah, with this one. Yeah, I like one. that one, too. I think whoever spends the most money should get this one. <laughs> Me. You? Yeah. All right, and again, the stamps that we used are Island Reflection... And Dad and I from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps, everything we used except for the ink you can get from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. So the stamps, the um, stamp handles, again, you have the regular handle and a universal handle, just depending if you're using square ink pads or oval ink pads. And they have the magnets built in. And if you need extra of these metal pads, um, they're in my Amazon shop. You get like 12 for five or six bucks in my Amazon shop. So they're very handy. Um, it does help to have a stamp positioner when you're doing this kind of stamping. And the pan pastels you can pick up also from Blue Knight Rubber Stamp. So a lot of fun, a lot of different ways that I've used pan pastels in my card making. And if you want chocolates, then we'll put the link up for chocolates then. All right. Abraham's going to buy chocolate. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys anybody have any questions about anything we went over today any questions for Leah thank you guys for hanging out with us she must go to bed now even though she doesn't want to hear that well thank you everybody Leah what do you want to tell them as your close out Make sure you thumbs up if you like this video and <laughs> and subscribe if you're not already. Um, if you have questions if, or comments, um, put them down below. And we'll put everything in the description for you. Yep. And again, you can order um, up until March 7th. Let me just double check that date. Yes, up until March 7th you can order. All right, and I'll put the link in the description for you guys in just a few moments. Thanks, guys. Oh, her goal, Abraham, is to get this pop it, and you gotta, she's got to sell a lot to get that. I don't think she's going to be able to get that one. She's got to sell at least $200 to get to this pop it. I can get this, too. <laughs> That's the pop it board game. <clears throat> Okay, guys, I'm going to go take some medicine and go to bed because I got to work tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Bye. Bye.